This is going to be the first video in a series of videos I'm planning on making for people that are just starting out in the home building business or do-it-yourselfers who are looking for the basics um, for home building. And I'm kind of, you know, there's a lot of things that I make videos about and they're a little more advanced and uh, sometimes they don't have enough information in them like uh, even nailing two pieces of wood together. I don't have any videos on that. I'm planning on making some videos uh, and putting them in this playlist. And that's kind of what it's going to be like. So like I said, there'll be a link at the end of the video. And uh, this video here is actually going to be about the lumber spacing for wall framing studs, roof rafters, ceiling joists, and other um, components in your home and why they're spaced at those increments kind of a thing. So let's go ahead and get started. In our first example, we have 12 inch on center or one foot on center wall framing stud spacing. And uh, here we have nine studs. And this is gonna kind of uh, play an important role in uh, what we're doing here. And this isn't going to be a very common measurement 16 inches on center is the most common but i kind of wanted to go over here and give you an idea of what the on center measurements are and the on center measurements is going to be basically from the center of the wall stud to the center of the next one and that same measurement it can be taken from the far left to the far left or the far right to the far right not from the far left to the far right but as long as you keep the uh, measurements on the left side, all of your measurements and your spacing and nail all of your framing studs accordingly, then uh, you are going to end up with the on center measurement, center of the wall framing stud, center of the next wall framing stud. So here's the last example for that on the right side to the right side. A lot of people, I get a lot of questions People are trying to figure out what the on-center measurements mean. What exactly does it mean? So hopefully this, this makes sense. Here we have a wall with 16-inch on-center wall framing studs. Center of the wall framing stud to the next one and the next one and the next one. And of course, in an 8-foot section here for 16-inch on-center increments we're going to end up with seven wall framing studs so we're going to be working our way down to using less wall framing studs 12 inches on center was nine framing studs 16 inches on center is going to take seven wall framing studs and of course 19.2 this is another measurement that's actually on your tape measure check it out if you have a uh, 25 or 30 foot tape measure go to 19.2 and you're going to see a little diamond or a little uh, mark and then if you go to what would that be 38.4 you're going to see another one and with that said if you look at your tape measure at 16 inch increments 16 32 48 you're going to see um, it might be in the color red you might have a different color for all of those because that of course is the most popular and I think all of the two foot measurements might even be a different color also, but uh, might not. Uh, don't uh, quote me on that one there. So here we have 19.2 in an eight foot wall. We are going to use six framing studs. Two foot on center is going to provide us with five studs and four spaces. 32 inches on center. And this isn't going to be very common. This isn't one I see very often. Um, you might see something like this uh, with um, four by four, four by six posts, maybe in an area where they're going to put glass or something like that. But just to have this, um, this is just a little too far. Same thing with four foot on center. Four foot on center, again, you're going to see this maybe when you're using um, posts and beams where each one of these is going to be a four by four post. And for those of you wondering why in the heck we have selected these specific numbers, it is because most of this works out with eight foot increments for plywood and drywall and some other building materials. So this is why we came up with these specific measurements. 
you know, four foot on center, two foot spacing. If we grab a piece of plywood or a piece of drywall that's eight foot long, it's going to, we're going to be able to nail it to the center of this particular framing stud um, and the center of this one here. Same with these other measurements here. So four wall framing studs, five wall framing studs, this still works. Now I do got to point out that 32 inches on center and the 19.2 inches on center will work for eight foot on center, but it will not work for four foot on center, where of course four foot will, and then two foot, 16 inches and 12 inches will. So I hope this makes sense for reasons why we're laying them out um, at uh, 16 inches on center instead of 18 inches on center or um, 15 inches on center. So these measurements are made to divide into eight feet for um, layout purposes. Now, if we flip the plywood around, instead of having it horizontal, it will be vertical. You can see here where the plywood and, and these are wall framing studs at 92 and a quarter inches by the way for eight foot that's something else that you need to be aware of if you use eight foot um, studs for your wall framing um, studs you are going to have a problem your uh, drywall and your shear panel all of your plywood isn't going to work out so remember specific measurements for your wall framing studs according to the building plans Take a back view look at it here. So remember the plywood is breaking on this particular stud and let's take a look at how that would work out. So if you lay everything out 16 inches on center, center to center, the four foot and eight foot measurements should work out. So hopefully by now you have a basic understanding of the increments used in construction and why they are used and a lot of it has to do with the eight foot units of material plywood and drywall that are used to cover the outside of the building and the inside of the building.